Hello everyone and welcome. I'm Mario and on today's menu, beef chuck short ribs. Now we're going to pan sear these just a little bit, then we're going to wrap them in foil and then we're going to cook them in the air fryer and the air fryer oven. Stick around. So typically I use a pink Himalayan salt and uh, fresh ground pepper as well as some garlic powder. Now if I'm going to make a ton of food, um, I have uh, some pre-mix that I make which has uh, one part pink Himalayan salt, one part ground pepper and half part granulated garlic and I make up a big batch that way I could just sprinkle it on and that usually works for me. What I'd like to try today is uh, this mixture I have which is a uh, pink Himalayan salt, ground pepper, I got some cumin in there, I have some red pepper or cayenne pepper, I also have some smoked paprika in there and I also have some garlic powder in there as well or granulated garlic. And I think I'd like to try that as well because um, it sounded really good. Now fortunately this doesn't have a shaker top so I'm gonna have to be pretty careful and this meat has been um, rinsed and patted dry. Now it looks like a lot on there but when I flip it it's gonna fall off and I want to get this on all sides so I'm gonna kind of work it in there, shake it off and get the other sides all nicely done and make a mess while I'm doing it. Okay, it's done. It was a little bit messy, but that's okay. Uh, now let's get the pan going. Okay, I'm going to throw a few tablespoons of butter in there. It may look like a lot of butter, but it's not because when we wrap this meat in foil, I'm also going to put a little more butter in there. You could also say this, I have uh, bacon fat, I could do that too, but since I'm going to put butter in with the meat, I figure this is the best way to do it. Okay, we're going to stick uh, the meat in there, probably a minute or so per side. The bone side I won't bother. Now this pan may have been a little too big. If I had used a smaller pan, when I go to sear the edges on the smaller side, they're probably going to want to tip over, so we'll have to figure that out. Okay, that's been about two minutes. That's got a nice sear on it. I'm going to turn it on one of the other sides and continue to do the same for all the other pieces. Again, it might take a little wizardry to keep this to stand up on edge. I don't want to tip, I just turn it the other way. And get this set up on this side now. Okay, take another look. Looking fantastic. Using the size of the pan to help keep this from flopping over. All right, I'll let that go for another minute or so. And we'll turn these once again. For this last piece, I use a little trick here. As I kind of lock this in place, that'll kind of keep it from tipping over. I do that with the steaks once in a while, and we'll be back in another minute. Okay, and put that down on the bone side. I think I got all the sides I could with all of these. Yep, I think I flipped them. Now let's get these wrapped in tin foil. Okay, I got myself a nice big healthy piece of tin foil. And the air fryer oven is going to be able to do more pieces at once, so this one will probably have an extra piece in it. There we go. I'm going to move this off to the side. I'm putting it bone face down. Not sure if it's going to really matter, but there we go. Now I'm going to start to fold these up. The tin foil has a tendency to tear a little bit, but I do have some of this butter that I'm going to pour in there. I'm also going to put an extra pat of butter in there. But who doesn't like butter? Don't answer that. And I'm going to completely fold this in. Like that, that looks nice. 
grab the other one with the four really large pieces here we got. And, uh, well, I only have that butter left, so I'm going to just stick two pats in there. This is a bigger batch. And let's get that folded in there. You may have to move this around a little bit. There we go. There's our two batches. This is the smaller one. This is the larger one. This will go in the air fryer oven. Okay, got the air fryer pan. I put this in here, the little grate, because I want some air to circulate underneath a little better. Got the beef short ribs. I'm gonna stick that in there and get that in the oven. And we'll grab this batch. And this is gonna go into the GoWise air fryer oven. Now I'm gonna set this to about 340. I'm gonna set both of them to 340. Typically the air fryer itself cooks a little faster, but I'm gonna do 340 for both. I hate this control panel, but what are you gonna do? It's just easier for me to pick any setting and then lower it down. 340, and as far as time goes, probably gonna take about 40 minutes, give or take. So, again, hate this panel. I'll check it at 30 minutes, we'll start this up. Now we're gonna set the air fryer. Fire this up, temperature down, and as far as times, I believe the farthest this is going to let us go is 30 minutes. And we'll start that. And you're going to make sure these lights are flinging across. Another thing I don't like, because if you accidentally pause it and it's doing that, you're not cooking anything. That's just a friendly reminder. Okay, see you in about a half hour. So while that's cooking, give you a little update. Uh, I apologize for the lack of content. Um, just it started uh, getting a little repetitive for a while and I didn't want to do that to the audience. I want to kind of keep it fresh when I came out with a new video. Uh, when I was getting ready, I injured myself and I had to have surgery and uh, I'm okay. Thank you very much uh, for those who have reached out to me. Um, so I've been out of commission for a couple of months uh, just with the healing process and everything. Uh, my weight, you know, as far as the keto thing, it's still going. I've gained a few pounds since the surgery. I'm now at like 162, although after the surgery, I've been as low as 159. So weight stays the same. It's just that when you're sitting and you can't do anything, what do you do? You eat a little bit more. I've been eating keto-friendly things. I've just been a little overeating. And other news fronts. Uh, so I did receive my replacement Breville, and um, I left it new and untouched. And what I decided to do was um, to uh, sell it. And that may come as a surprise to a lot of you because I really like it. It's a quality item, but you know, I thought it was time to move on to something else. So as you saw, I have the GoWise USA Air Fryer Oven in its place and it's been there since about November, I wanna say. Uh, I'm getting used to it. It's just a control panel I really hate. But I have something new coming. It's gonna be a little bit, but when it comes up, then I'm gonna have a, a whole new comparison thing going on with uh, the new device and uh, some of the other ones, but uh, I'm trying to keep it, again, fresh and real for everyone here and, uh, you know, make it worth coming back to watch. Now, I know this isn't an air fryer only uh, cooking recipe, but in this case, I think it's really important that you sear it because you could throw a steak in the air fryer and it's okay, but ever since I started pan searing these in butter, you know, all the sides, and then throwing it in the oven. You can do the air fryer as well, but I throw it in the oven because usually I'm cooking up a couple of large steaks and the air fryer is just not gonna fit it. And it's just amazing, especially now with the butter and my wife just loves it, my daughter loves it. And uh, I, I love it of course, because I can have steak all the time. Uh, anyway, so that's where things are right now. Uh, still moving along. I have now got the okay from the doctor to start moving around more again, so I'm just, baby steps for me. Don't forget below you will see links to my Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, etc, etc. I usually post there on a regular basis just some snapshots of food I make. People have also asked the question, Mario, do you air fry anymore? Yes, I do. Um, however, things have changed up a little bit. I cook a lot of food for the week. Well, not a lot of food. So I, like today, I cooked 10 pounds of bacon sweet Italian sausage, ground beef, and make it up to make my meat casserole. So that'll be, let's say, lunch or dinner, sometimes both, if I'm being lazy, uh, for a week or so. Um, also, I will cook up some uh, Cajun chicken, and that'll go on top of my salads. 
I like to have a salad every day. It doesn't always happen, but depending, I'll have occasion chicken on the salad, or maybe I'll just have a salad and uh, a little bit of meat casserole. So when do I air fry? When I'm feeling spontaneous, um, for instance, with what we're doing today, is I'll cook those individual smaller meals, like pork chops or burgers or something like that, something that is quick and I decide last minute what I want to do. So yes, I still use the air fryer. Do I use it as much? It used to be yes, sometimes even more, but now it's like the same or even a little bit less, just simply because I do a lot of bulk cooking. Some items that I bulk cook can be cooked in the air fryer or the air fryer oven, but other things cannot just from a standpoint of I want to cook it in big batches. So. That being said, I still love my air fryers. I still use my air fryers. It's just now they're playing a slightly different role of when I want something a little different than the usual meal prep for the week. I also did reach out to GoWise USA again, see if they would uh, support another air fryer for the channel. Never heard back, so I assume that means no. Basically, they've released a seven quart air fryer based on this. And it's identical because I was in the store and I was playing them around. It's basically, this, instead of the, the pan and the basket, it's just the pan and then a, a, just a round or oval tray that's at the bottom like the gourmet did that I did a review a while back. So what that does is that gives you that extra maybe half inch all the way around, so maybe an extra inch all around. And the handle is much sturdy. It actually attaches on the top and the bottom. So I'm pretty sure the latch disconnects would be a thing of the past at that point because there is no latch disconnect. Now the, the tray that drops in has little silicone bumpers around it and uh, those I've heard on the gourmet they've popped off. I'm sure it's a problem for everybody. And that tin, I don't know how strong it is. But um, I've been happy with my GoWise, so I may purchase one of those as well. I'm just offloading some of the stuff I have now. Uh, some I have uh, new that I haven't showed you yet. Um, and I may actually give one of these uh, to someone who wants one. Uh, family this time around, not a giveaway. It's too expensive to ship that stuff. Uh, and I did, again, approach GoWise about this, but I never heard back. I think uh, they went a different direction to have real professional looking videos where someone shows on cooked food and then shows cooked food. Uh, and if that's the direction they want to go, that's great. They supported me in the past with the air fryer and I appreciate that, but it's time to move on and time to get something new that uh, I think you guys will appreciate. Okay, let's take a look. look yummy. Alright, let's get the other ones out of the uh, air fryer oven. This is for fire a mint. Okay. Oh yeah. Look at that. Those look equally scrumptious. like those Fred Flintstone Brontosaurus uh, type foods. Oh yum 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 yum. I'm also going to pour some of that butter and juice on there. So this took longer to cook because I cooked a lot more than I usually do. I've read different things, you know, some people say 180, some people say 200 degrees uh, to cook these out, or 203 to be more precise, uh, and they say low and slow. I don't have that kind of patience, so uh, I cook it at 340, and I think it was close to actually 50 minutes that uh, this was actually cooked, but now we're going to try it. Oh man, I don't know where to start. I'm gonna do this one right here. Mm. There it is in all its glory. I'm not sure how to tackle this. It's probably still a little bit hot. I 
it's got a lot of flavor. I know you hate watching me eat. That is extremely tasty. Anyway, well there you have it. Beef chuck short ribs, bone in. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please consider subscribing, hit the notification bell so you know when I'm putting out a new video. And we'll see you on the next one. Thanks a lot. Don't forget to unplug the air fryer, folks. <laughs>